look at this. Gushing out, you know, just gushing. Quick place. They just went in there and made it stop. 
stop leaking. Bang, you out, you out of here. And it goes off again. So now it's like, all right, take it to Freeline. Okay, Freeline are not about to rush this, bro. They're not about to rush it, man. They're not going to. I already know what it is. I'm like, I done, I done, I done dealt with the dealerships enough to know that you about to sit down for two days. Minimum, bro. Two days minimum. You missed out a run. First time I went off this week, I missed a day. This about to be just three days of running that you missed. I'm at 2,600 in red right now. You heard me, so now you out of that rev plus you paying for a telly for three days. Gotta eat. can be done though you know 
action stuff out the way. I, you know, you know, I nanny foot down the hills, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not no rough driver, man. Even when I had sweet Catholic Karen, man, she could go the speedometer, dog, but I only went 72 at the best. You know what I'm saying? I average 68. You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't beat up a truck that bad. But it's like I can't seem to juke the bad ones, bro. As PH call it, the ragamuffins. I can't juke them, man. I don't know how I feel, though. I've been doing this two years, bro. Two years. Hard shot time, dog. Like, I don't understand the pain, man. That's not hot. That's humidity, dog. Like, that's pressure. Bro, the truck run, I'm going to score high every time. That's a fact, though. I'm going to score high every time. I'm going to score high every time. Everybody 
ain't breaking down no. And you think about their reputation and all that. I 
back in 50 miles on the road. That shit must have been. You know, now it's like, oh, I need to go to the Freightliner, but I don't got time to go to the Freightliner, but I'm going to have to. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to. You know what I mean? But I don't know when this going to happen again. So now they're routing the truck to get you to a Freightliner or a preferred shop that they, they wanted to be at. So now they're giving you loads based on where you need to go, not based on you making no money. So you can lose two, three weeks out of this. Like, this, this is... It hurts, bro. It hurts badly. Like, it's not, it's not, oh, uh, I take it in scribe, man. This is pain, bro. It hurts. It hurts, bro. And someone said, oh, well, you, you know, you whining. That's exactly how you know they're a company driver right now. Owner ops don't say that when they come to break down. They know the game. That's the easiest way to inform us that you're a rookie. You ain't been in the game long enough to even went through nothing. Wait on the tech to get here, man. Done with that load. But uh, that's not what I want we gonna talk about today. Coming to our point, I'm talking to some trucks, a truck stop I sat at, and you see that little, that problem, that we're coming to the conclusion that people are trying to sabotage my truck. Trying is actually there, they are. Someone is hanging around my truck and then I get an unexplained leak, uh, problems with my uh, tires, uh, getting to the point where we're believing that there's a um, there's people who've gotten the word from uh, whoever they got it from and they are actively sabotaging my truck so steps have to be taken and um, and uh, we have to talk to some people really not a smart idea because that's actually a very, very bad charge. That's a very bad charge. So, I hope it isn't the case. But, um, my team is working on it. I'm talking to it with the, uh, my company and all the places. Because that's a bad charge to have, bro. Sabotaging the semi-truck. Something, you know, that's attempted murder. You don't know what, whatever they... I could go down a hill or something and, and be messed up because of sabotaging and you know so we're building a folder for it now um, working on a few things figuring out what camera systems we're going to put on my truck to uh, when I cut it off for it to come on and record and what around the truck and while the truck's not moving uh, and to be able to catch what's going on because I'm getting unexplained stuff just unexplained like go to sleep one night wake up and, and fuel's just pure pouring like bro not fuel but uh, uh, uh we have one we have one uh, the the cool is just pouring out and it's just unexplained it's like you know unexplained clean cuts things you gotta think like that, that that give people uh when you take a truck to a shop and they see stuff like that they tell you they tell you bro they tell you hey uh, this was cut now, i'm not being too forthcoming with everything that just happened but you know kind of watching people like people are crazy and dealing with, with, with property that belongs to a real place that's a real charge dude. like that's not a game when you oh you know pull the fifth wheel you know what I'm saying and, and that you can get an attempted murder charge for that you know what 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 if that trailer holds on long enough for him to get on the highway and as soon as he switches lane it comes off rolls and kills somebody you you can go to prison for messing with somebody's truck a lot of the time we think everything's a joke and we don't know that it, this is serious, bro. This is serious. You got people's lives in your hand. 
when you're uh, out here doing stuff. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, bro. So, just gotta watch it. So, you know. And, you know, I wake up and it's just pouring out of my truck, man. That's why I've been saying, man, we gotta get back to when we love the job and it wasn't about that, man. Like, we gotta get back to that, bro. But we like the job so much, we just like the job that it even enter our brain for something like that that would happen. You know, man, you know, uh, American trucker go to sleep, waking up trying to take care of so and so and so, and somebody bothering his truck, playing around with his truck. I'm not saying that happened. I'm not saying it did happen. I'm just saying that you know, taking steps to protect from it, though, because. Some stuff is unexplained. It just shouldn't happen. You know, when you go to these places, they check to see if you just uh, did something to wear it out or something like that, or they can tell that it's been cut. It's too clean. Nothing happens that clean naturally, though. It's too clean. Look how clean this cut it. They bring it to the driver. Look at this. Someone cut this. Someone cut this. Watch that stuff. You know, you ain't even someone out who out on the street making money illegally, man. You a hard working man, everyday joke. Someone think that's cool to do, man. That ain't cool to do at all, but you gotta watch for that stuff, though. Luckily, I looked around and everything and you know, see what's going on with the truck and seeing like, whoa, what what's this going on here? I could have just rolled off and blew the engine. They'd have been all, oh, he don't do nothing, he don't do that. He fuck, man, listen, man. For the most part, people generally are just not good people, but man, you just gotta watch yourself out here, dog. Like, you just gotta watch yourself, man. You don't never know when, when something's coming, bro. You don't know when it's coming. It come from anywhere. When I get down the road, they done did something to my trailer and I kill a whole family of people, or a whole church bus full of people. That ain't nothing to joke around with, that ain't funny. Oh, that's so-and-so's truck. You 
gotta watch it, man. Like, that's them a company calling now. It's not a game out here. Like, people are getting hip, dog. They're getting hip. These companies start taking stuff real serious, man. And let me tell you, dog, these, these companies, I say companies because you're dealing with somebody who's connected to more than one. Companies don't play like that, dog. They don't think that's funny. They don't think that's a game. They don't think that's a joke, bro. They will prosecute or push to get you prosecuted. They go back and see you. You go back in the truck. They see your truck number. They will bring up charges on you. But that has nothing to do with me. You got to think about it. Like y'all always say, I don't own this equipment. So if you do something to this truck, this isn't mine. There's a real companies that own the trailer and a real company that owns the tractor. And they're going to prosecute you, bro. They're going to push to get you. That's nothing to do with me. So you're, oh, TV Snit. I don't know nothing. I don't have the power to request for Shale to give me their tape. I don't have power like that. Y'all play around, bro. I think this is a joke. You mess around, get four years for sabotaging or uh, attempted murder, some crap like that. And you have to do 85% of the time, dog. Your life gone, bro, because you think it's cute. It's fun. Because someone you seen on the internet said, hey, if you see this truck, do something to it. Y'all gotta get y'all stuff together, bro. I mean, I'm, it's, it's, it's not a game out here no more, dog. It's not a game. Like I said, some channels y'all didn't even know this past week done disappeared. I ain't even pay attention to it. People are playing with people's lives, bro. And I just want y'all to get to the positive stuff. Be happy, man. Like, I, I was trying to be on the positive, but then this happened, and I got to touch on it. But at the same time, I want y'all to get back to being positive, man. Don't risk your career, your life, and your livelihood on some stupid stuff on the internet, dog. Like, it's not worth it. It's entertainment, man. You gotta be able to separate and understand that some stuff is just a joke, bro. It's just entertainment. People are just doing it to get clicks. They will trick you out of your square for them to get clicks. You go away and they act like, I never told them anything. They just get to go home and, and, and lay pipe so they will lead and everything like that. You, you up in the bing, making sweet butter love to a man. Think about this stuff, man. Playing with someone's truck is not a joke. Y'all need to look. I'm telling you. Play around with some tricks. Play with some people's stuff is not a joke. I understand vandalism, all that stuff. These things move 60, 70, 80 miles an hour, and they're 80,000 pounds, and they're 73 feet long, and they can kill more than one car family at one crash. And it's not a game. It's not a joke. We need to get it together now. We need to get this get this, this place back to where it was about the beloved Roy and running and not foolishness. That's what it is, really. It's just foolishness. It's grown men acting like children. That stuff needs to stop, bro. Me included. You know, whatever problems you have, think about how many problems you wouldn't have. You stay in your lane, made videos about the rule and just love life. How happier you would have been. saying nobody cut my cooling line all i'm saying is they looking into it that's all i'm saying you gotta watch yourself i don't think everything's a joke but you don't learn today everything ain't a joke once somebody push for investigation they get to looking at tapes and they can enhance the footage and get numbers off of trucks and zoom in on it digitally and all that they can get you bro they can find you I know you think, ah, right, truck stops, all of, all these truck stops got cameras, man. All of them do. All of them do. All of them do. All of them do. And it ain't nothing for someone to press with that camera. Hey, we want to see your footage. We think it's a so-and-so investigation or something, something, something. And your pilot is going to give it up. There you go. What date you need? All they do is say, I need this date, that date. This time to that time. All they gonna do is correlate that after the, uh, on the computer on the truck, when he was there with the GPS, we need this time to that time. And they gonna send that joint right on over, there you go. They gonna zoom in on the truck, figure out who was around that truck the whole time. And they gonna catch me either going in or be asleep, not even up yet. And they gonna see someone walking around the truck and they gonna, okay, they gonna follow that person. They gonna follow it right back over to that person's truck. They gonna look at the numbers on the truck. First of all, they gonna figure out what company that is. And they gonna figure out what truck was there for your GPS traction to this if they can't get the numbers. So they either can get the numbers off the truck or they can get the GPS tracking off the truck. 
in that so-and-so's truck. Or give us all the people from your company that picked up from the shipper that's near this place on this date. They're going to go through, they're going to come through, and you, whatever, they're going to route you to wherever you need to go. Because understand, these big companies cooperate, bro. They not about to shield nothing, they, none of their stuff from the boys at all. They're not about to shield it. They're going to get you up, bro. Oh, uh, this one, this one now, this one, this one now. Okay, so and so and so. Boom, you gonna pull you in or some stuff like that? Hey man, come on to the office. Ooh yeah, they got you. Don't play with people's truck, bro. It's too much technology in these trucks, man. All of choices, all of them. Your truck is GPS. Even the owner opts to my son. Ah uh, nah, man. I'm, I, I bought my own truck, but if you pull in somebody's trailer, it's GPS. That's a fact, though. Know it. GPS, they know exactly where you are and how fast you're going and what direction you're going in. Your pre-pass is tracking where you're at. Your easy pass is tracking where you're at. You ain't out here just, just butt-naked and loose and doing whatever you want to do. Warren, your phone tracks where you at. You got seven apps on your phone right now keeping track of every tower you hit. Facebook, Instagram, all that, Snapchat, all that's tracking where you at. And them boys got access to all of it. That's a fact, though. Say a command. Exit. $2,100. Go. Let's start the comments. All right. <clears throat> All right. Did y'all have a good discussion? I hope you had a good discussion. Listen. Now I got to run up here. Just give a little more context to the Lord. Mm. I got to run up here to Waterbury. I got to switch trailers. They got a trailer up here they didn't have for too long. So I got to go in there, get situated right, drop this trailer, pick up the next trailer, go down the road to St. Aubin, Auburn's, Aubin's, I don't know how to say it. St. Aubin's, go up there, 
pick that load up, take it on down. Now, most likely when I get up here, they gonna BS on giving me the load. I already know it. I, that's just how I feel. I don't feel like the load is gonna be done already. But if it is, it's great. Um, and I gotta take that load straight on down south. Ice cream, handy. You know it's gonna be. Now, should I have taken that load? Should I have denied it? Same thing. I should premiere this so y'all can be able to talk back and forth. Should have I denied it? Could I did something better on the spot market? And probably I could have. I probably could have. You know? I probably could have. Y'all let me know. Break it down. Now, me personally, I'm going to take that load, man. I'm going to take that load. I'm going to get it down there in a day and a half. Um, and I'm going to get me something else to add on to the revenue for the week. And that's just going to be what it is. And I, I'm not about to sit up here and, and, and nitpick with the load. Uh, uh, and say, oh, man, this is, this is too heavy. Uh, I'm not about to do all that, bro. Give me a load. I knock them out. I stack them up and walk away with a check. That's how I look at things. It could be wrong. I'm not saying your way is wrong. I'm saying that's how I do it. Ah, got the goose. I'm saying that is how I do it. Okay, that's how I get it done. We're going to run up here. We're going to switch out and uh, figure, every, figure everything out. We're going to switch out loads. We're going to switch out trailer. And then we're going to head towards say, oh, man. since yesterday about uh, 8 o'clock at night. I don't think so. Matter of fact, I think a lot of this was vacant. It was like hardly nobody here. And I don't remember seeing that truck. And I parked it. It was 7 or 8. It's just not exact. Matter of fact, I can tell you exactly. As soon as my computer pop up, it'll tell me how long I've been here. I'll say if I had to say a percentage, I would say about 60% sure that I, there was no truck in this lane. You think, did you call their con his company? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm about to say, because they can, uh, they can, yeah, all right. Yeah, I don't remember seeing.
seeing that truck. Matter of fact, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that truck wasn't here. A lot back then, on this back road, and just because, you know, I didn't, I didn't think it was, it was nobody back here, and I just was in one of those moods where I didn't feel like actually, you know, parking close. I didn't feel like doing any backing or anything like that. It's a sucky deal, man. Like, I don't want to see nobody get hurt, bro. Just bust the window open, man. Get on in there. Like, that's what I think. Like, you could be having a seizure or something. Just bust the window open. body man it's so hard it beats you up so bad and and and, and uh, you know it's just hard on hard on the body it's hard it's hard on you man. and then people get we get in these positions where we can't get out the game even though we're getting the health cues that we should we just can't get out the game because we don't know all the place we can make no money and you keep on driving down the road and and you just get worse and worse and worse and now you're stuck with your house payment and your car note and everything like that and you, you can't you can't get out man you get stuck man it's a trucking trap it's a trucker's trap man you get in here you start buying a whole bunch of stuff you can't afford you know you get a nice house and everything uh uh and and you, you, you know you can't leave your bills have it to where you can't afford to leave I'd be, uh, I'd be against them bills, man. I'm telling you. I'd be against them bills. 